to learn that this is a season of shifting. This is a season of shifting. This is a season of shifting. You got to learn that you are, you've been in that situation for so long. Somebody say it's time to shift. Say it's time to shift. You thought things would be different before you clock 30, but things are still the same. But say to yourself, it's time for me to change things. Say it's time for me to shift things. Life is not fair. Oh, life is not fair. Life will give you what you fight for. I'm going to say that again. Life will give you what you fight for, not what you deserve. Life will give you. It's mine. You've got to come to a place where you are tired of the same thing. Because when you keep sitting at the same spot, you keep experiencing the same thing. You are not shifting things. When the, when the Lord say move, and you're saying, no, I don't want to move. I'm staying right here. That means nothing is going to change. You'll experience the same thing. You'll experience the same delay. You'll be going through the same thing. But when the Lord say take courage, it's time to shift. It's time to take that move. No matter what, you're going to step on some toes. It's because you're shifting. You're going to make some people mad. It's because I'm shifting. You're going to make some people hate you. It's because I'm shifting. Somebody say it's time to shift shift shifting is not easy in life ah uh, shifting is not easy shifting comes to disrupt shifting comes to rearrange shifting comes to realign you and to bring you to a place of potential and purpose shifting comes to rediscover who you are when it's time for you to shift everybody's not gonna like you people are gonna misunderstand you people are gonna judge you wrongly but who cares as long as God is with me he said I'm gonna be there wherever you go as long as God is shifting things for me I'm gonna be courageous I'm not gonna care who likes me who don't like me because it's a time for me to shift it's time for me to shift 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 what is shift what is shift the Bible says he's a shift but the dictionary meaning says it's, it's called a move or a call somebody say a move say a move say a move one more time it says a move or a cause to move from one place to another one place to another somebody say I'm getting ready to be transferred say I'm getting ready to move say I'm getting ready to step up in the name of Jesus somebody say shifting shifting says it's a slight change in position God wants to change your position God wants to change your idea God wants to change your direction God wants to change your tendency because he's one to shift things anytime that a bulldozer get ready to put a new building he will break some things anytime if you ever seen the construction workers when they walk we stand to shift things we got to puncture some things we got to make some things uncomfortable we got to rearrange some things why because we're trying to redesign shifting come to redesign shifting comes to rebuild shifting comes to make beautiful the bible says because in his time he makes all things beautiful because there is a shifting mode that has been activated so i'm walking in his time i may don't be married now but i'm shifting something inside your life and preparing you for the best man preparing you for the best woman i may not have what i have now but god is shifting things that's why you're going through what you're going through that's why you have all them haters that's why you have people jealous of you because god is shifting things they may not understand who you are they may be lying against you they may be speaking ill of you but god is shifting things you don't call them anymore that's because god is shifting things you don't talk to them anymore because god is shifting things god is changing things god is a really realigning thing somebody say shift understand God wants to shift you because you have been procrastinating for so long that's a hindrance I want to do it but I find myself in the same spot procrastination he wants me to go to school but procrastination I still find myself you're not moving you're just stagnant you're feeling it in your spirit God says it's time for you to leave that place because I'm changing things I'm bringing new ideas I want to elevate your spirit mind but you're 
procrastinating. Oh, I'm going to do it this year. No, I'm going to do it after two months. No, I'm still praying. Baby, it's no more time. The time is now because the more time you're wasting, the time you're wasting for your blessing, the time you're wasting for God to act until you move, God will never act. Until you move, God will never act. How many of y'all remember when we were at the old church, those of you at the little bitty church? We were less than 10. Less than, less than 10. And God spoke to me. He said, it's time to move. I said, God, are you out of your mind? How are we going to move? We were paying about 2005 for rent. And this is about 5000 How are we going to move? God said, I'm God. All by myself. My ways are not your way. My thought are not your thought. When you are thinking that I don't have it, God said, I already made a way for you. When you're thinking I can't do it, God said, I already provided for you because I can't send you into a dry land. When I tell you, God, that means I've made a provision. When I tell you it's time to move, that means I've made a provision for you. Somebody say, It's time to shift.